Good morning and welcome back to GCS Machinery. Um, I've took some more sales, machinery sales today. Um, one's an online only auction, which runs for three days coming up. And one is a live farm auction is actually on today. So um, I'm gonna pop in there first and have a look and see what's there. So uh, we're gonna have a look. All right, we've just had a Barnsley to a dispersal farm sale. And um, we were coming to try to have a, anyway, so we thought we'd come and have a quick look. And uh, so, uh, go and see what's, uh, what's on offer this one, shall we? There's a usual amount of small bits and pieces in the farm buildings. And there's quite a nice array of, uh, I think, sort of quite well kept machinery straight off the farm here. So, Quite a nice selection. Bits and pieces. And uh, we're going to have a look, closer look at a few of them. That's a nice little tractor, nice little fella. 6640 SLE, which is the electric version. An Ernest O tractor. That's a out of its dealer network there and uh one thing i will say about this tractor is that the porsche series tractors had a um, big tendency for the paint to peel off the bonnet so i'm not quite sure where this bonnet's been resprayed but it will be or just been very very well looked after and judged by the tractor i actually suspect it's the latter where it's it's just been very well looked after There you go. Very clean looking tractor. It was locked for me as well. <laughs> and nice little Volt truck. And then 141. <coughs> Not quite sure how the numbers work on that. Would that be 140 horsepower? That's the comments below, someone can let us know. Quite good. John Deere telehandler, again, looks entirely order. Must have been put through his paces there, so it uh, must be good. John Deere 590 baler. Any more now? 190 in front, any more? And I'll sell the way down. 110 Pascal, no! 110 Nathan. Hey, I'll tell 80. 458, 46, 1006, 20, 465, 46, yes, 468, 47, 47 away, 4720, 4750, 4750, monsieur, 4750 will sell our skull down! 4, 7, 50, hold on. 9, in Wales. 12, 12, 1. 12, 1. 12, 1, middle one, 12, 000, 1, what are you doing now? 12, 000, 1. 12, 12, 2. 12, 000, 2. 12, 000, 2. No mistakes. 12, 000, 3. 12, 000, 3. What do you say, boss? 12, 3. We've already gone, sir. I'm sorry, I wasn't being rude, but we're already. 12, 4. 12, 4. Hey, I'm on. 12, 5. 12, 6. 12, 7. 12, 000, 7. 4. 12, 8. 12, 9. 12, 9 at 9 at 9. You're right. 12,009. Local man. Yes or no? 30,000. 30,000. Local man's out. 30,000 D. 30. What? 
Right, <clears throat> second auction of the day. Well, this is I've just kind of viewed this one. This auction's um, Watts is at Barnsley. The auction is on three days next week, online only. So you can't come here and bid live, unlike the auction we've just been to. Um, but that, this auction's on every, maybe six weeks or so. And I've been buying stuff from here for probably 20 years, maybe more. Maybe more, I don't know, something like that anyway. But anyway, we're gonna have a quick look around and see if there's anything here that's uh, looks of interest. Certainly a vast amount array of equipment here. Yeah. Now that's a little bit different. A Ford County Ford Control. Definitely a little bit different. A lot of these had um, things had rear mounted sort of a um, lime spreaders or drilling rigs or things like that. So. Um, not quite sure what this had in the previous life, but it's, um, yeah, don't see many of them. This sort of caught my eye at the distance, an 8830 Ford, but someone's painted it in a bit of an off blue colour. I'm not 100% sure of the colour, I like, quite like the colour, but um, certainly a beach tractor. An 8630 here, more traditional colour, looking quite smart. All, all got good tyres on them. Uh, we'll have a look at the back to see if they're um, if they're imports or not. Well, they've both got English plates on them, but the hitches on the back tend to be like the Continental hitch. So, not too sure. I do like blue. I do like the blue ones. What else have we got here? Case MX one ten. I've had case tractors in the past in the high fleet. Go back to when they were MX one twenties and MX one three fives. Good, reliable, strong workhorses. Yeah, nothing wrong with them at all. So, yeah, nice little line up there. Four nice tractors. Good selection of some. Uh, I'm guessing they're Chinese import tractors there. All brand new, four in one buckets, looking very clean and tidy. That's quite smart, and that's what John Deere 2026R. Uh, baby Yamaha tucked in there, look at that. It's quite cute. I think I'd look a bit big start on that. Please do not answer that in the comments below. I'm sure somebody will. Again, the same as last time, plenty uh, 
Goes to be micro diggers. All from a very good home. Some brand new, um, something or other. MLM cool excavator. Brand new. I think I'd rather stick to the JCB one of that, rather in my own personal opinion, but each their own. Good lineup. A few forklifts here. There's young Nigel. On to dumpers. Big section of nine ton dumpers, six ton dumpers. It's very nice looking at it. One ton threats. Now they look quite smart. Most definitely. And if you're feeling really brave, there's a couple of the Land Rovers. All this stuff would be online. So if you go to one to watch these auctions, there, on the side of that, on the side of that, the truck there, and you can bid online for all this stuff. There you go, some very nice uh, brand new loading shovels. Brand new out of the box. JCB 16 1.6 tonners. Again, all very smart, all very clean, all looking good. And if, and if little ones are too small, there's a nice tidy case there, also in this auction. And not that I normally do commercial vehicles too much, but I couldn't help but notice two little gems parked up over the back here. I say gems, they look good from a distance. A Ford D series and a little Bedford T TK 860. Both looking very, very tidy order. For their age. I always quite like the Bedford TK, so I can remember when I was a child, it's probably the, the problem. There we go. Nice, tight lorry. Got the, uh, the air vents on the floor to uh, keep you chilled. When you think back, people drove these as a living every day. No radio, nothing like that in it. Very basic. And this was like a, a luxury truck when it first came out. So people were very pleased. You know, it was a good thing, good truck. There we go. I wonder what that's going to make in the auction. Nice little beaver tail there. Something tells me that uh, Tractor John used to have that tractor, had it, Laurie? Nice clean tractor kit, lorry cap. She's obviously called Joyce. There you go. Someone's quite enjoy once. We'll do some, some else next time. Now walking around all these classic vans and posh vans here, we have found the Sooty Stunt Van. Now look at that. Now John and Colin who uh, owned Watts Associates, did joke that they think they would on doing a Maxim Paddy um, series with the minute, which I think would be quite cool. So if you think you want to see John and Colin from What's Auctioneers out in this doing a Maxim Paddy series, please put in the comments below. But uh, Elfie Tour is on the back. I'm not quite sure what that means, but uh, anyway, there you go. What do you think? What do you think that's going to make at the auction? Q 
cute little van. You know, the Sooty Stunt Van. There we go. At Watch's auction. Right, was, it's all very good everyone sitting here watching my YouTube video. Let's hear from some of you guys what you're up to this week and how you're feeling this week. So, in the box below, let's know what you're up to. Let's know what you're doing. Um, it's, probably four more, it's probably far more interesting than what I'm up to. So, in the box below, please, let's know what you're doing. Let's know how you're feeling. And um, it'll be good to read. So, uh, get right away.